Hey 40 plusers, Deborah here. Hi subscribers, I love you all. Everybody should be following us on YouTube, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, give us a like there. We have over 500 members on Facebook. Yay Facebook. Um, give us a follow on Pinterest and Instagram. Follow me specifically on Twitter. Um, lots of different things going around on each of those things. Say hello. This is my prince, Mr. Slate. He's annoying today. Get down. Without tearing my sweater. Ugh. Get down. Ouch, 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 get your claws out of me. Okay, cat attack. So, I'm here to share some light on my winter favorites for January 2015. Slate would agree that every girl needs a little refresher. This is the source water from Avon or Avene. I'm not sure, I think it's Avene. And this is a perfectly balanced pH of 7.5. And I use this throughout the day um, to give my dry, cracked, stressed skin just a little break, a little refresher. A little spritz goes a long way. We just go like this. And it's, it's like angels are singing. Whoa! And it dries really quick. And it dries matte. Okay, in the morning, one of my wake-up potions, Avalon Organics Vitamin C Facial Toner. I love this stuff. I use it boob up. I love it. It is smells like tang. And it's refreshing, and it makes everything go... And it's just nice. Very nice, very, very nice. Let's see, what else do I use in the morning? Um, bio oil. I use this as a um, moisturizer on very, very dry spots. And the stuff is wonderful. It's also for stretch marks and things like that. Um, but the stuff just absorbs Wonderfully, it's got a spicy, almost clovey scent to it, and I love this stuff. Bio oil. Um, I think that's the skin care. We have one lip care item. When it's dry and your lips are cracked and they're peeling, elf, when, but not when they're tender, but just when they're starting to turn over uh, skin. Elf's $3 Lip Exfoliator. It's a sugar based. You just go. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I do it for about 30 seconds. And this is like one of my Holy Grail items. I always have a backup. I actually have two backups. Yay! Elf Lip Exfoliator. Other favorites. Let's. See for the well separate face and eyes. For the face, um, the I don't know if this is the first step in my makeup or the last step in my skincare. I can't decide. This is Stila's One Step Color Correcting Skin Tone and Brightening Serum. This has a lavender component, a green component a peach component and a clear component and I put two pumps together and mix it all together it gets kind of avocado colored and I do on my face 
and it dampens down on the redness it brightens a little bit and I think it evens out some of my skin tone as well so Stila one step correct this lasts forever uh, I've been using this since August and I probably won't finish it until sometime in February great investment and I don't have to worry about using color correcting primers and concealers and all of that that does the job uh, for the face um, stay matte Rimmel stay matte pressed powder and I use the shade buff beige I love this stuff. It's goof proof. I think because it's fairly well pressed that not a lot comes off on my brush. You can see there's just a hint of it on my finger. But on my powder brush, it's not like it gets saturated with product. It just gives me a light coverage um, without packing onto my brush and then onto my face so I don't get kicky face. Highlighter. Um, this is probably the second or third month for this. Micah Beauty's um, Rosy Pink Highlighter. I still haven't made a dent in it. But this stuff is wonderful. It's velvety soft. See, just a hint of shine. Micah, Micah Beauty. Rosy Pink. Um, a new love. Uh, Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink. I think this is a universally flattering belt universally flattering blush and it's pretty pigmented so you want to have a light hand with this I'm pretty good with a light hand um, sometimes too light but you can see that's just a one swipe so it, it's really pigmented and you have to have a light hand so you don't have to blend or remove it and start over um, for hours uh, for the face. Okay, now we're going on to eyes. Eyes. Um, the blue and pink Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express. I love this. This is a rubber bristled, so it's pretty stiff. It does hold a lot of product. So you probably want to kind of take it through the top a second time to take some of the product out. And you can see through the bristles better that way. Um, so it doesn't hold as a ton of product that way. And the bristles are stiff and they give you separation. So you're, you're avoiding clumps. The formula is nice. The brush is nice. It gives you definition and some length and a little volume. It's good, good uh, multi-purpose mascara. Um, under eye concealing. L'Oreal True Match. This is uh, the shade. Fair to Pale, W1, 2, and 3 on their True Match system. And this has a brush applicator. So you can go thin or thick. So you can go thick or thin. You can get really thin lines or really thick lines. You can see the difference there. And W123 matches my skin tone very well. You can see that blended in. 
just a hint of yellow and a hint of brightness. And then I set that with the e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder. Love this. Fave. Favorite. Favorite of the year. Favorite of the month. Favorite always. Price, value, effectiveness, total package. Eyelid priming. I have very crepe, very, very, very crepey eyelids. Mica Beauty. Eyelid primer. I got this in a November boxy charm box and I immediately I tried it for 30 days I immediately purchased this again so I have a backup of this um, changed my life changed my life changed my life changed my life it just has a clay like scent it's thick and it goes on matte a little tackiness to hold your shadows it can even hold some lighter weight glitters changed my life um, new to the party Revlon photo ready eye art um, glitter and cream shadow in the shade Peach Prism. So this came in Allure Sample Society box for January. It's a dual ended. Uh, the cream shadow is like a extra wide doe foot and it's super creamy, super shiny, deliciousness. I, I have worn it more days than I haven't since I got it. And then the glitter side has got a holographic glitter in a peach gel. And this applicator is a clunky, pretty thick synthetic brush. It's not thin, it's not delicate. And here we have the things. Here's the cream shadow, and there's the glitter. And you can see the massive glitter. And you can already see this has started to set. Once this sets, this cream, you can't, it does not move. You need to use waterproof makeup remover to take it off. You put it on, it will stay there. I've worn this for 18 hours. But look at that metallicness and look at that glitterness. Fave, fave, fave. Love it. Going to probably buy some other colors in this. Okay. Um, also a new fave this month is the Color Tattoo Metals Inked in Pink. And here is this. I'll give this a swatch. Sheen, high sheen, creamy, pinky, lovely. There's that. This one also will last forever. Okay. Now, the last January 2015 favorite are some specific eyeshadows from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. This specifically for eye, for brow highlight and inner corner is this white chocolate. And for crease and transition shades, salted caramel. So we've got white chocolate here and here's salted caramel. And those in combination with the peach prism and the color tattoo have been my everyday looks. 
So these two shades are getting a lot of work, a lot of work. So, white chocolate in the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette Original and salted caramel or caramel in the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Mm. Ow. I just hit myself. Colored tattoo and also can be paired with the Revlon Peach Prism. So, those are my January favorites. Um, if you have any questions on the products, let me know in the down. Uh, ask any questions, give me a comment, subscribe, do the Facebook thing, the Pinterest thing, the Instagram thing, the Twitter thing. Hook yourself into 40 plus 411. Because it's going to be an exciting year. This is Deborah, and I'm out. Be happy, healthy, and learn something new every day. What did I learn today? I learned that when it's snowing, the snowplow throws snow into my mailbox. That's what I learned today. Don't ask me how it got in there because it was closed.